What's going on? How are you guys today? I just got home from work. It's pretty early. I think it's around 3.30, but I've had a very long day. Haven't eaten anything just nonstop. Uh, so the first thing I did when I got home uh, was I put uh, two cups of organic sprouted brown rice in my Instant Pot. Now I got ribeye steak from Frankie's Free Range Meat, nice and thawed out while I was at work. And I haven't had these in a while, but uh, some lamb testicles, you know, when I'm low on energy, these do actually boost your testosterone. I had one person that actually left a review of these saying that they had morning wood again. And uh, one of my viewers actually sent me a testosterone panel he took after several months of eating them. So they definitely work. Uh, but this is from Lundberg Family Farms. So... I don't know how much sprouting the brown rice reduces the anti-nutrient content, but it digests pretty well compared to the other rice I've tried. Uh, so all that was in here was the two cups of rice and four cups of filtered water. I split this up between a high calcium mineral water and a uh, lower calcium mineral water just so I don't get constipated or anything. I also have some cookies that I just baked. They're in the freezer cooling off right now. This is cinnamon raisin. First time I've ever tried this flavor. I think the chocolate kept me up last night, so I just want to see if it was the chocolate. Oh, I also put uh, some salt and coconut oil in that brown rice. I don't really like the flavor of like beef tallow or lard in my rice. So I'm just gonna sear off this ribeye steak and then we'll sit down and eat. So I got my steak searing in the pan. Also have to get my water kefir and digestive enzymes ready. And this is so that the food is broken down properly and the lactobacillus in the water kefir inhibits any bad fungal overgrowth or any SIBO or anything. This water kefir has truly been a lifesaver. You guys haven't seen my video on it. I think that was two or three months ago. And we also have the kefir grains available on Frankie's Free Range Foods, which are actually right here. Honestly, lately I'm so exhausted and hungry that sometimes I don't even like get a brown on the steak or try to sear it nice. I just throw in the pan, get it hot, and then eat it. So this has the water kefir and it undergone a second fermentation. There's a bunch of lemons, limes, and ginger in here for flavor. So I gotta strain it out into the glass to get the water kefir grains out and like the random ginger or whatever that falls in there. So maybe I'll show you guys the enzymes one day. I'm just using some generic supplement brands. I do have some powders downstairs of each of the components, the fat, protein, and carbohydrate digesting enzymes. So I do want to make uh, my own enzyme supplement that I'll hopefully have within maybe a month or two for you guys. So the rice and steak aren't done yet. So we could dice up these lamb testicles because I eat them raw to preserve the bioactive properties of the testosterone. This isn't how they're packaged on Frankie's Free Range Meat. We sell them as 2.2 pounds, one kilogram. If you guys want me to do this, like two testicles individually wrapped, uh, I can do that, but it's going to cost a lot more because you know just so labor intensive to put them individually wrapped like this but i did this for myself because you know i don't really eat them every day i have them maybe once or twice a month so it's nice to just take one package out and you guys have seen me do this before but this is kind of nice because usually they're a lot bigger you know we're not like the vegan boys we don't like big balls we don't actually care about the ball size because we're not interested and more is definitely not better you know, you kind of want to have a small amount over two or three days every day as opposed to just blasting it all at once, which I think is what I'll do here. I'll save this one for tomorrow and I'll have just this today. So I've had a meal like this several times over the past week, just beef and rice, typically brown rice, sometimes white rice. Sometimes I actually mix both rices together, but never only white rice because it just gives me SIBO, doesn't sit well in my stomach. Normally, I still have that stew that I showed you guys, uh, you know, a couple of months ago now, and I'm going to have that again later today. I just wanted to do this meal first, just as something kind of like new and exciting. Uh, then the boring stew and chocolate chip cookie diet. Today we have the beef and brown rice, lamb testicle and cinnamon raisin cookie diet. The rice is a little bit undercooked, but I'm just really hungry so as you can see steak is pretty much raw so the steak and the testicles are obviously where most of the nutrition is here and since we're only having maybe you know 
two or three teaspoons, a tablespoon of the lamb testicles. The actual, you know, protein and mineral content isn't what we're focusing on here. It's the male hormone optimization, the testosterone that's going to give you physical energy as well as strength, steak, protein, B vitamins, keeps the brain healthy, bioavailable minerals, brown rice, some of the B vitamins that aren't as high in meat, but it's mainly for feeding the gut microbiome, the gut motility. And since I added those high mineral waters to this rice, it's actually a pretty good source of calcium and magnesium. That's a nice little trick you can do. Water kefir, super, super nutritious because you put sugar in this and molasses, which have a high mineral content, and the bacteria eats it, turns it into B vitamins. So you're basically drinking liquid B vitamins and minerals. And if you ever have a headache, drink one cup of this stuff, it'll go away in like 10 minutes, not even. So I'm gonna have the lamb testicles and swallow them down with the water kefir. few more bites and then we'll go take our enzymes. I'm just going to pour some more water kefir and the only deviation today from the norm is me having those lamb testicles. I've just been like a little tired lately and exhausted. I mean I'm not sleeping but maybe they'll give me a boost. It's maybe a handful of enzymes. And if I don't take enzymes and drink water kefir with my meal, I will break out terrible acne 100% for sure. When I eat like beef jerky and chocolate at work because I'm really hungry and I forget to pack stuff, I almost always get acne every single time. So let's um, have a couple more bites of steak and rice. Now I'm still eating quite a bit of meat every day, you know, one and a half pounds. So I'm still getting the high protein and B vitamin content, but now I'm getting in carbohydrates for energy, the water kefir. So I would bet that my current diet is actually higher overall in vitamins and minerals than the previous carnivore diet. Now these ribeye steaks on Frankie's free range meat, I just did a price analysis. I took a few dollars off, so we're even more affordable than before. You know, we were already priced lower than other companies online, but you know, I'm not gonna charge more for stuff just because other people are selling it higher. Ever since I was a teenager and I was bodybuilding, one of my favorite foods in general is rice with salt and oil. Like, that's it. Butter, too. Butter is delicious on rice. This is actually a little more than I normally eat. I just been so busy the past two days, I only had time to have one meal both days and I'm just kind of hungry. I was so tired Monday when I got back from work at like five. I just fell asleep until 5 a.m. the next day, and then I had to get up and just work again. It was not fun. All right, so I think I'll save this steak and the rest of the rice in that Instant Pot for tomorrow morning's meal, I guess, because we're gonna have the stew later just to show you guys what I normally do. So I had these cookies in the freezer, and if you guys have never put like chocolate chip cookies in the freezer, they taste so good when they're cold. Uh, someone actually emailed me about the best bars we have on Frankie's Free Ranch Foods and said they were really, really good when they were cold. Just makes it more like ice cream for some reason. But these are not chocolate chip. As I said earlier, these are cinnamon raisin. I'm hoping I will sleep better without having the chocolate, but maybe not. These are pretty good. I never liked that oatmeal raisin crap because like, come on, it's like you're trying to be healthy, but... It's not healthy. I just scratched the oatmeal. When I was a kid, I used to love like the cinnamon raisin toast with butter. One of my favorite things. So these are very, very simple. Organic coconut oil, organic coconut milk, organic cane sugar, organic white flour, organic raisins, everything's organic. Vanilla extract and cinnamon. Pretty simple. I'm waiting to get sponsored and we're gonna put Frankie's vegan cookies in every Whole Foods. Hopefully they don't know my YouTube channel. Then they won't buy my cookies. In hindsight, 
if I launched vegan cookies, it would have to be under some like secret company name. Because the vegans would cancel me. They were like protested Whole Foods, like don't eat Frankie's cookies. They were like, they were like ransack the Whole Foods, take my cookies off the shelf and like step on them on the street outside in the park of that. All right. I like the chocolate a lot more. I don't think the amount of chocolate chips and a couple of cookies. Is there really that much magnesium and copper? Hey, you know, if I eat three cookies, four cookies every day, it is a decent amount of minerals from the chocolate. Water keeper's carbonated, fizzy, really, really tasty and delicious. To me, it's like a healthy version of soda. Maybe this is a good thing because when these are chocolate chip, I'll eat like three or four of these, but now I, I don't even want to really eat two. I wish I didn't have that cookie dough now. I don't think I can just throw chocolate chips in it. It'll taste weird. So the main reason I eat cookies is calories. They're very concentrated in sugar, fat, carbohydrate, energy. I will literally lose weight <laughs> if I don't eat three or four cookies every day. And, and the only way I will maybe slowly gain weight is if I literally eat like two meals like this and have like four cookies and stuff myself at each meal. It's very, very difficult for me to maintain my weight, let alone gain weight, especially now that I'm not working out. You know, everything's organic, so the pollutant concerns are reduced. And what this is really doing is feeding the bacteria that's in our water kefir. It's eating all the sugar in these cookies. It's kind of like keeping our gut populated and healthy. All right, look, the cookies are good, but cinnamon raisin makes me feel like I'm an old person about to die, so I can't do it. So I technically don't have to do anything immediately right now. Thankfully, I'm filming this video for tomorrow, so I don't have to like write a script or film for a couple hours or anything today, which means I'm probably gonna lay down because I only got a few hours of sleep last night and then we'll get up later, do a little more work, and then we'll have our second meal. What's up guys? So I laid down for a few hours. I feel a lot better. I still have a bunch of work to do on my computer mainly answer emails and just do some website stuff for Frankie's free range meat. Thankfully, you know, this meal is going to be a lot quicker to prep so I can eat, do a couple hours of work, go to bed. Cause I got to wake up early tomorrow morning. For some reason they scheduled a cheese delivery at seven. Uh, so what do you do? But I have some of the stew that you guys have seen over the past few months. The base is very basic. It's always barley, mushroom, onion. Sometimes I add potatoes. Sometimes I use venison. Most of the time I use beef. We actually have a lot of stew meat available on Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, ribeye stew meat, New York strip stew meat, and I'm gonna add some sirloin stew meat. So I've been having those more tender steak cuts in this. Red wine and beef broth is the base. I put some salt. I haven't been using thyme or bay leaf lately, but the red wine is, is really one of the most important ingredients here. Just adding a cup or two really helps bring out the flavor. We're gonna take the stew, just put it in a pan to heat up. So I have everything here already. Some more water kefir, the enzymes for this meal, and we have our cinnamon raisin cookies earlier. We'll definitely make some chocolate chip tomorrow. I did sleep a little better since I didn't have the chocolate, but I don't know. I'll have to think of something else I can put in the cookies. I was doing like a, like organic hazelnut that I found, but it's okay. So we're just going to heat the stew up on the stove and then we'll sit down and eat. So here we have our gruel. <laughs> no, no, this is actually very tasty, very delicious. And I've had excellent digestion with this very consistent every day. So I'm kind of sticking to it. Now about half the time I'll actually use ground beef instead of stew meat or like venison meat because it's like evenly dispersed throughout the stew and I get a more consistent protein intake every meal. I'm not really that hungry. So we're gonna have the enzymes now and maybe I'll finish off this bowl of stew. So same exact thing as earlier, I'm just gonna take the handful of enzymes and the water kefir. I'm like a little hungry. I mean, we ate, you know, five, six hours ago. So I think that'll be good. I had about a bowl. Maybe I'll have a cookie or two. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon raisin. Oh. 
Honestly, I think it's more... I don't like the cinnamon than the raisins. I just have half a cookie. Usually I'll have like two or three of these chocolate chip every meal, but I'm not a fan of those. So we basically had a bowl of stew, half a cookie, and two cups of water kefir, so I feel pretty good, a little more energized. So thank you guys for joining me today. Please leave a comment down below, like the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And if you guys do want to support me further, check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We have the ribeye steak, the stew meat, so many products for you guys. The water kefir is on Frankie's Free Range Foods. And the nice thing about that is once you buy the kefir grains for $10 or maybe $15 elsewhere, all you need to do is you know, spend 10 bucks a month on organic sugar at the grocery store. So it's really a minimal investment and you get a nutritionally rich B vitamin, vitamin C, probiotic drink to have every day with every meal. Granted, if you don't have like a well or spring water source, you have to, you know, buy some glass bottled water, which, you know, kind of adds up. I probably spend as much on water as I do the sugar for the kefir, but that's how it is in New York. So let me know what else you guys would like to see. Maybe I'll try to do a cheat meal in the next video. Uh, maybe I'll show you what I have at work sometimes, although I'm not a fan of, you know, the food quality that I had access to. But thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Fuck these cookies.